Hey, it's Carl from artofshred.com and I have here another Sonic Mustang, this time HH. So we're gonna unbox it and I might give this one away. I'm considering it because here's why. I got this one for free, I won it at work. I don't work for a music or a guitar company, anything like that, but um, I got it as a a gift for performance, whatever you want to say. Um, I had a choice of guitars I could choose and other things as well. And y'all voted on getting another Son Sonic Mustang. So obviously I have that one right there, which the review will be coming soon. But um, anyway, so here's a Sonic Mustang HH. What I'll do is unbox it and um, play it a little bit, but of course an actual review will be coming in the future, so subscribe and all that good stuff for that. Now, as far as giving this guitar away, leave me a comment on what your favorite cheap guitar is, and if we get 100 unique comments, or 100 unique individuals, I'll give this guitar away in the future most likely on the review of this guitar. So basically, we need 100 comments before the review of this goes live. So um, that's one to two months. Let's get to it, enough talking, huh? Allen wrenches for truss rod and to adjust the saddles. Oh, nice. Real, really professional organization we have here. That is a much nicer blue than I was expecting. On all the photos, it looks a lot different. One moment while I look up what this color is called. California blue. Okay, so let's just quickly go over the specs. Very similar to the the red one there. Obviously different colors, different color pickguard, and it's got two humbuckers. So standard or a classic or a vintage, let's say. Vintage, uh, an original uh, Mustang is more like that red one. But this, the Bullet Mustang was an HH, and people loved that thing. So um, it was a very popular mod guitar. Um, anyway, 24 inch scale length, Squire humbucking pickups, that's what they call it on the Fender website. Six saddle, hardtail bridge, sealed gear tuning machines, chrome hardware, okay. So um, yeah, nothing special or nothing new, let's say, as far as that. Fingerboard is Indian Laurel, nine and a half inch fretboard radius, which I believe is different from the bullets. I think the bullets were, was, uh, the bullets had 12, a 12 inch fretboard radius, so a flatter radius. The bullets also had a belly carve, which the must, uh, the Sonics don't have. And narrow tall frets, 22 frets, synthetic bone and nut, they call it and uh, C-shape neck, maple neck, and poplar body. Anything else? Two ceramic humbuckers, three-way switch, volume and tone. Cool, cool, cool. But I was, again, back to the color. I don't remember what I was expecting. So I got this guitar actually two weeks ago or so, and then I got bronchitis, so I couldn't film this video. And uh, in any case, um, I really like this California blue. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but this looks really, really nice. Um, let's check out the frets and see if Squire's quality control is quality. Now, if you recall, 
the red Sonic Mustang, frets were all good. Oh yeah, it's got the skunk, skunk stripe. Let's see these frets. Well, would you look at that? Happy to report, no fret sprout, no sharp frets. Fretboard's generally clean, looks a little dry, easy to fix with some lemon oil, but man, as far as that goes, as far as that goes, looking good. Nut looks cut fine. So yeah, let's take a close up. That is really difficult to do while trying to stay in frame and <laughs> holding the guitar with one hand. Let's pull that promo sticker off as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do, um, gonna tune this up, check that the frets are level, or see if there's any high frets. And we'll, we'll go from there. Let me change this camera angle a little bit. Let's see what we're working with at the 12th fret here. Just about two millimeters at the low E 12th fret and just below two millimeters at the high E 12th fret. So not terrible. Not terrible, but I, you know, not my, not my preference. I like it a little bit lower. That's fine. Easy enough to fix. Um, as long as we don't have any fret buzz or anything like that, that'll be great. So let me see. Let me just check up to like the 12th, just to see if there's any high frets, but even if there is, there's no fret buzz. So really nice. Slightly high ninth fret, barely. Slightly high 12th fret. That's boring to watch, so screw it for now, huh? Let's just see how. Now we're using this little overhead mic I have here, so obviously the sound is not going to be phenomenal. Let me turn up the volume a little bit. Way out of tune already.
Well, um, there it is. The the Sonic the Sonic Mustang HH the Squire Sonic Mustang HH. A very cool blue, man. I'm. I really like this blue. And if you remember the Sonic SS or the just Sonic Mustang, um, I didn't really love the Torino Red, I think it's called. Yeah, Torino Red. But that kind of grew on me. It didn't really like hit me from the jump. Whereas I just really like this California blue. It's a kind of a baby bluish. Um, anyway, as you heard, out of the box, this guitar, pretty sweet. I want to see something here real quick. Let me let me do a quick, <laughs> quick neck feel comparison here. Yeah, I think it's pretty pretty positive. It's the same shape neck. Anyway, I've enjoyed playing that guitar. I will be reviewing again i'll i'll have the review of that one soon um, what i might do not sure yet i might do just a combo review with both of these we'll see how i decide to do that because i feel like it's a little bit redundant to basically review the same guitar because all the real differences are the pickups and the fretboard um you know that's got the maple fretboard. This has the Indian Laurel. Um, so we'll see how I decide to do that. I'm not sure yet. In any case, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, um, full review will be coming soon. Subscribe, like this video, and comment what your favorite cheap guitar is. Again, 100, in if 100 individuals comment, I will give this guitar away. And uh, yeah. See you next time.